Okay, y'all. Hi. Thanks for tuning in. So, today, we are going to make some chicken and beef lo mein. My way. The budget way. Everybody probably defending for their favorite Chinese or Korean dish. They can't get out. So, I'm going to show you how to do it at home. With Hopefully, this is some simple ingredients that everyone has so this is gonna go real fast so let's go first thing you want to do is start with a little bit of oil about that much oil okay boom I already had my wok preheating um, probably for about maybe five minutes on high this dish goes so it cooks really fast y'all okay First thing we want to do is add our chicken breast. This is one chicken breast. And I just, it don't even matter. Slice it thin, thick, however you want it. It don't have to be uniform. Put it in. Really simple recipe. Okay. And we just go cook this chicken down. Just let that chicken cook down and dry out a little bit. And even, well, you know what, you could add some seasonings um, to this step. I think I might. Let me see. I think what I'm going to add now is just like a little bit of soy sauce, just so that flavor can get all marinated up in there while it's stir frying. Add some soy sauce up in there. I'm going to add a little bit of five spice to it. Asian five spice. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this Put down. Get done. And I will be back, y'all, with some cooked down chicken. Okay, y'all. My chicken is midway through. Midway done. I'm going to still let it cook down a little bit more. But what I'm about to do right now is add my onions. About to add my onions. Chopped up any kind of way. You do not have to be perfect on this dish. Look, my chicken, listen, we like our chicken chunky. I want to taste my meat. So I kept it kind of chunky. Some is probably kind of thin. It's no right or wrong with this dish at all. Let's add the onions in there. And give it a nice toss. And I'm going to let this go for 
I'm not even sure until it looks good to me. You feel me? You feel me, feel me? Because I don't really want my onions mushy. Like, I want to taste a crunch. Like, a slight crunch. So, I'm going to let this go more. Let that cook down a little bit. And I'll be back. Okay, fam lamb. Now you see how the chicken and the onions have cooked down. This way I want it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this out and I'm going to transfer it over to my pan here in the back. If we don't want to cook this no more. We're going to get started on another step. Put that right back there. This is a good bite. This is good right here. You ain't got to be washing out your wok because you don't want to wash them flavors out. This is all flavors up in here. Okay? So now you still got your hot seasoned wok right here. Let's put in... Let's put in... Now this is when it's going to go fast because listen, you about to add this garlic... You got to move fast, have your ingredients by you, because when this garlic burn, this is going to be disgusting. So, we want to add your garlic. This how I'm doing it. Do it the way you want to do it. Look at that. I added my garlic. Now, I want that to get a little, I want that to get a little toasty roasty. See, that's even enough right there. See that? Done. Now, what I'm going to do is add, had this in the freezer, beef and broccoli, PF chains, beef and broccoli, right there, bomb. So, what I'm going to do is add this. And all of its juices right to the right to the pot. Right to the wok. Get all that good good out. You don't want to leave none of that flavor up in the bag. Okay, we need all that flavor. Throw your bag away. <laughs> Duh. And then I'm gonna give this a nice little stack. I just switch utensils. Ooh, on y'all. Now this right here is basically almost done. It's like it's, it, it almost comes pre-cooked. So you want to probably let this go for about not even 10 minutes. Maybe, maybe, about, maybe about 8 minutes. Even, maybe even about 5 to 8 minutes. You know, I just eyeball everything. But I know this need about five to eight minutes. Because, you know, you don't, you ain't trying to get sick. You want to make sure that beef is like, <laughs> okay, done. Hey, y'all, I'm back. So, now that my P.F. Chang's beef and broccoli right here has cooked down and marinated so well with my little garlic, what I'm going to do is add my chicken and onions back. Add my chicken and onions. And I'm also going to add some extra fresh broccoli because you never can have too many veggies. That broccoli be tasting so good in that sauce. Okay, so I added my broccoli in there. Get that a little... There we go. 
add in my fresh broccoli. Stir that up. Okay. Okay. Let that broccoli get a little tender. I don't want it to get too uh, too mushy. What I'm also gonna add at this time is I think I'm at half. I don't know if you can see it, half of my bean sprouts. Love these too. Love these. Yeah, we're going to do half of the bean sprouts. Mix it all up. Now we're going to let all that marry together and do what it do. It's looking so good already. You know what? I think what I'll do too. That's looking so good. So I'm gonna let this cook for a little bit, about, I don't know, five to seven more minutes, and then I shall re-attack Hey y'all. Okay, so, I didn't let my chicken marinate with that P.F. Chang's bag of beef and broccoli. I got my bean sprouts in here. I got onions. I got a little bit of Asian five spice, a little bit of soy sauce. So now let's move on to the next step. And I just want to show y'all how tender and juicy. Oh, you probably can't see it. How tender and juicy that chicken breast is. Came out so good and juicy. So, fumble. Okay, so what we gonna do? We get this another stir right here. Oh. Now we are going to take our noodles, and you know what kind of noodles we use it. Udos and noodles, ramen noodles, soy sauce flavor. This is our lo mein noodles. Get your life. So let's take our my pot. My pot might overflow here. I might can't use. I uh, boil down two packs. So what I'm gonna do is take that. Take another little heat bug and I'm going to incorporate that. And what I'm going to do is add some more soy. Some more soy sauce. Because you want that flavor to be like, yo, did I just order this or did I make it at home? Did I just order this Chinese food or like where I get that from? You want to add some oyster sauce. And this stuff is like potent, so just add that much. But you could do what you want to do. Some people might want to add the whole bottle. Do what you got to do. 
Then I'm gonna add some sesame oil. This stuff's strong too. Be careful. And I'm also gonna add, you guessed it, one of the flavor packets. You thought I wasn't when I was? You thought I wasn't when I was? Here you go. And I'm gonna give this a stir with my fork. Look at that, it smells so good in here. My God. And I can't, you know what, I'm about to add the rest of my noodles, which was just a little bit. I'm gonna add the rest of my noodles. And stir it. Now, we've been cooking and cooking, and as you can see, our juice didn't dry out. Our poor little gravy, our poor little juice, it didn't dry out. Don't panic. Don't panic at all. Because now, we're going to get all them flavors from the bottom, scrape that bottom. Now what we go do is add let's see. We done made a slurry. We done made us a slurry right here. And we go add it to our we go add it to our little pot. Now a lot of people with like Chinese cooking from like from what I know, they love to use like corn starch and water. Everybody don't got corn starch in their cabinet. Sis, get you some flour. Get you some flour and some water. It's gonna work the same. Flour is a thickening agent too. So we go add this. We go add this slurry over here. And I also had uh we go add that. Why not? Let's add it all. We going all out. Add it all. I also had some brown sugar over there, but I don't think I'm going to need that. Now you go see, this is about to thicken up. And since I added that bland flour, let me taste this. Let me taste a piece of food real quick. Because you may need to add some more seasoning, like some more soy sauce. And it look like, see how it's thickening up? So you're going to need to add more water. Don't even pan it. Add some more soy. Because that flour go dumb down your dish. Add some more soy. Get you a cup. Add a little bit of water. Thin that gravy out. Cause you don't want it all, you don't want it super thick. See, I'm at, boom. Now, just stir that in. Stir that all up. Let that get thick again. Scrape them sides, get that flavor, because you don't want to miss nothing. You can add shrimp to this, or you could just do a shrimp one by itself. But I, you know, I mainly wanted to show y'all how you can like, like dress up that frozen. Uh, like frozen dishes, that frozen Chinese, like P.F. Chang's dish. And it's bomb. It's bomb. Look at that. You see how that thickened up like that? Let me see. I'm about to get y'all. Let me see if I can get y'all in closer. Let 
Look how that just thickened up. Look at that gravy. Okay. Look at that. Look at that gravy. What? This is done. Done, done, done. And my family like a lot of gravy. You might like yours on the drier side. Do you. You know, do you. Do whatever is best for you and yours. We like a little gravy. Look at that. You could pair it with whatever. I'll probably fry some chicken wings to go with it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. It's probably going to be it. I wish I had some egg rolls, though. Every time I order Chinese food, I always order an egg roll with it. So, that is it. That is my chicken and beef broccoli, lo mein, on a budget, inexpensive, that was one piece of chicken breast and a frozen Chinese meal that you can find in the freezer section on sale half of the time for like $5.99. And, I'm well, maybe everybody don't got broccoli, but add you some extra broccoli because they really don't add a lot of broccoli to these dishes. That's the only thing. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Hope you tried the recipe. Don't forget, try it your way. If you don't like it the way I did it, try it your way. It's good. It's inexpensive. It's quick. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And everyone, have a blessed night.